Well, uh, that guy... He got the job done, though he did technically no, die twice. Yeah, he... he no. <laughs> we had two intel team agents undercover at the PF, contract forces of Africa. The CFA have captured them both. They don't have long to live. You've got to get them out of there ASAP. This means Cypher might be getting wind of our existence. We may need to move more cautiously existence? from now on. <laughs> I just hope this incident has nothing to do with him. I've added the details to your mission list. Like, I, know, down, I, boss. I think Ooh. they know of your existence because, one, they were already tailing Diamond Dogs when Big Boss was still in the coma so that they could capture Miller and interrogate him, which was and the whole crux of the first mission. to kill you. <laughs> and there was a jet plane literally following your helicopter. <laughs> Our men will be killed the moment the interrogation is complete. And, and I, here I am thinking Miller is only soldiers. emotionally Their stupid. Yeah, no, I think he's just dumb. Within Diamond Dogs against the CFA. Our men will push us to retaliate. Then things will cease to be about business. We'll be starting a personal war. That's not what we set out to do. The two men are being held in Kaziba camp. Hurry, boss. They're counting on you. Again, don't that is rich out. coming from Miller, of all people. We don't want to start a personal war. That's ridiculous. Just, just, it's silly, frankly. It's downright silly. Look, how about you just join our club in the ocean that has an ideology about how we shouldn't have an ideology? <laughs> all right. We're all in agreement. And uh. there are no personal vendettas or wars. Now, let me tell you about Cypher. <laughs> and how they're all worthless pig dogs that should rot in the furnace of hell. <laughs> so, yeah, we're... Uh, this is a mission that is is a, a quick one, and there isn't too much to it, so we're only going to be playing this one with one character, and that's just Big Boss, our tactical boy. Mm hmm Getting a lot of mileage out of Big Boss. Yeah, he's a... Uh, th there was... I, I paid attention uh, to earlier videos. It's like, oh, there were several videos where I just kind of skipped Big Boss, so we're, we're using him just a little bit to kind of make up for him taking okay. a break. Okay, okay. Intel team members are being held captive by the PF in that area, the CFA. Your job is to rescue them. They don't have long to live. It appears that one of our two men has broken out of the encampment and is on the run. Contact us to say he was surrounded. That's the last we heard from him. Your map is marked with a predicted field of movement based on where his transmissions cut off. The other man is still captive. They have really the good, Boss, like, digital predictive algorithms. Yeah. For the mid to early 80s. Yeah, I mean, although it's like the it gets better the more Intel team dudes you have. And I just want to imagine you just like hiring as many people who are good at guessing as possible. <laughs> the interview is just showing them a jar full of like rations going, how many rations is in this jar? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, got to save these two dudes. Uh, in no particular order, really. Though the, uh, the guy... I think the interview is just making them listen to episodes of Hey Riddle Riddle, and the people that get the most frustrated are the ones that, uh, get to join the intel team. Yeah. Uh, the, the guy that is escaped and is surrounded is the easier of the two to get first. Also, uh, these guys... I've shown that you can pop tires before by shooting them a bunch, but if you pop a tire while a car is going really fast, everyone gets really dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> so now that they're just all dizzy. Also, look, guys in full body armor. Uh, I can just Fulton all of them at once. It will definitely save bullets. And yeah. time, that way. <laughs> I love that he was looking straight up into the air. <laughs> just watching his friends go away. When dudes get knocked out or uh, 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 stunned because the the car spins out or or stops abruptly, you mm -hmm. don't even really have to pop their tire when they're going that fast. Like they don't even have to be hitting full speed. And full speed with jeeps in this game is like 30 miles an hour. Like, mm -hmm. well, all the terrain. Yeah. Roger that. Like this jeep right here, I think is the fastest vehicle in the game. There's two different jeeps in the game. One of them is slightly faster than the other. <laughs> okay. uh, and it's still not like super fast. I mean, it's not a not racing game. Not as fast game, as so. a skull. Yeah, not as fast as a skull.
Yeah, head into this this first guy who escaped. Uh, this is also uh, right around the time where we finally hit uh, some some higher higher R and D levels so that we can actually research some of these stuff. Ooh. Uh, so we'll be showing off some of that stuff in the next Our couple of updates. Run last contacted us from that forest. The enemy PF already has troops spread out in a manhunt to find him. Keep your eyes open. Extract our man before the search team can find him. Check his I really hope it's one of the good ones. Yeah. Not like that last guy. Oh, a dog. But yeah, that jeep I took out, both jeeps, those are actually additional soldiers that are part of the search team. So like, if you don't you stop the them, like an extra five or six dudes will be in this forest searching for the guy. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Also, I brought the Riot SMG. Uh, I've used this like once or twice before, but didn't use it too much. Uh, it's it fires rubber bullets. Uh, I really like it personally. I use it a lot when I play this game, just because uh, as long as you're just firing like single shots, the suppressor lasts lasts for a long time. Uh, it shoots really. F it's like a Trank gun, but it shoots really fast. Mm -hmm. So. Although uh, rubber bullets knock dudes out for a lot less time than tranquilizer rounds do, but sometimes you just need to knock a dude over for like 10 seconds, really. But yeah, there's a couple different ways you can find the guy in this forest. They, they say this is a forest, but it's really tiny. <laughs> it's about... I expect more from my forest, frankly. Yeah, it's like a dozen, I mean... A couple dozen trees at most. It's a really small forest. And that's why we need to preserve uh, these natural, our, our natural heritage. Right. This, this is the rainforest. You're seeing it right here. Yeah. It's all that's left. Also, uh, one way you can find the guy that's really, that's pretty easily missable is that he dropped his walkie talkie. I don't know what scanning a walkie-talkie does, but... It gives you an intel file, obviously. Oh, yeah. It just... There's just like an essence of words that were spoken into it still. How did they not see you? Uh... Stealth suit. There's a flashlight essentially <laughs> on your face. The stealth yeah. suit is so good. Yeah. The stealth suit's really good. Uh, it's also just... Uh, basically, in situations like that, uh, I would have been caught if I had pressed any buttons, really. Like, to make me move, at least. Mm -hmm. Any movement would have gotten me caught. Except for throwing magazines. They don't... They don't see magazines when they're thrown, really. Mm-hmm. <laughs> At least not uh, unless you are throwing magazines constantly, in which one of the actual ways the, the enemy AI changes is uh, they will start seeing magazines getting thrown, and... Oh, there he is. Even uh, if they don't see the magazine, if they hear a magazine land somewhere, instead of going to investigate the magazine, they will move in the opposite direction from where it landed to try and find the source of it. My goodness. Right? They're brilliant. Look, you might be acting like you, you really fucked up your job here, but uh, other the other guy died twice doing his job, so. <laughs> <laughs> now you could just fault in him, right? I could. Um, the issue is that uh, at this point of the game, I have fallen enough dudes that the AI will actually go into caution when they hear or see a Fulton balloon. Ah. Uh, so at this point, like, yeah, you kind of got to move guys out of the way a bit if you don't want guys getting suspicious. Although they're still suspicious because they find an unconscious dude. Also, when I was carrying that guy around, uh, you may have noticed that uh, there were people that I could see uh, through walls and stuff as if I had tagged them. Uh, that's because I used Noctocyanin, which is a drug I just made. Uh, that just, like, automatically tags everybody for, like, 30 seconds. Oh. It's, it's just a wall hack drug. Just an awareness drug? Yeah. Uh, God, I can... 
can see through walls. <laughs> this stuff is some good the shit. Extractor gave us all the intel he could. You got a lead on what's happening with the CFA. Check it on your so, iDroid. So, okay, he swallowed the intel he had. Mm -hmm. He immediately gave it as soon as he was on the chopper. Yeah, and here it is. Wow, he is a... He's a pooper on demand. <laughs> Incredible skills. And I'm sure you recognize those symptoms. We're hearing that this is cropping up among the CFA ranks a lot lately. Especially among local hires sent to the Masa village area. The thing is, they suspect that you're behind the disease. The Diamond Dogs is doing it. Boss, you remember that oil field mission back when we'd just come to Africa? The disease took hold in the CFA right after that. The CFA are afraid, they're frustrated, and they're angry. They'll want to pin it on us. Somebody's putting them up to it. Probably the real power behind the CFA manipulating their information. Whatever they were doing in that oil field, and whoever's behind this disease, we need more information. Yeah, that's like a little bit of, uh like a, a little story beat that's like also pretty easily missable in this mission because it's not like they tell you you have to go into the intel tab and then like press a button to hear about it <laughs> i wish they would just like tell you that stuff or have a codec call about it i don't know there's like a good amount of those like little bits that aren't like any big revelations or anything but it just feels like it's needed connective tissue <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Also, there's a guy in here that uh, has a, a unique specialist skill. Uh, it's a meta metamaterial specialist. Uh, he's, uh -huh. This is one of the only places you can get that skill. Uh, if Right. He deals with materials that know they're in a video game. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, and specifically, his skill is required to make the stealth camo. So, yeah. He does know he's in a video game. <laughs> And somewhat surprisingly, this game lets you, like, start making the stealth camo Boss, early on in the game. The squad is, on its way to camp. is it really that different from the, the camo you're in? <laughs> I mean, it makes you literally invisible, so... So not that different, no, okay. It, this, is, this is about 90% invisible most of the time. 9% mm -hmm, mm -hmm. more and you will invent the podcast. <laughs> Um, but yeah, there is a bit of a time limit to getting the other, um, your, your other soldier out, because otherwise, uh, a squad will show up and to, uh, to move them and then eventually, like, kill them. Um, but also, pretty easy to, uh, circumvent because the squad that comes get him is just two dudes. <laughs> it's just two guys. And, like, I already found their car. Well, yeah, how, how many dudes does it take to move and execute someone who's already bound and gagged? I mean, yeah, that's true. It's just... That's one extra guy, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for some reason, on this, this take... For one of the, bigger PFs, the, contract forces of Africa, the guy for who's the passenger These got there first, which is usually not the case. The and so them. rather than driving the I car to pick up the other person. guy... He just waits. Oh. He just waits for the driver to show up. Oh, there he is! Where'd he come from? When you call shotgun and you really, really mean it. <laughs> I just really don't want to drive. Although I like that the guy driving is leaning forward like he's in a little go-kart. He's really excited. <laughs> yeah, they're both exactly where they belong. <laughs> they're a well-oiled machine, these two. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it doesn't really matter what it is, as long as you have, like, a medium-sized object in the road, drivers will stop to examine it. Mm-hmm. Well, it says so on the bumper sticker, I stop for medium-sized objects. <laughs> Spit it out. Uh, you can also stop vehicles just by leaving your horse in the middle of the road, if, uh, if you want. Uh, they, they'll just like shoo your horse away. Uh, the, the horse will will oblige. 
cardboard boxes, though, they will get out of their car, walk all the way to box, look at it, shoot it, and then get back in the car. They won't... The AI in this game, they don't want to drive around things. Like, they can't do that, really. You gotta extract him. I have to show it off later, but, uh... Like, there's no way f to, like, kind of trap AI drivers. Like, mm -hmm. they can't drive around something, but they will destroy everything in their way. to execute our intel team member. We also now know exactly where they're keeping the target. I'm sending the location to your iDroid. Kaziba camp, an enemy outpost. It's got good visibility and not many places to hide. Use the landscape wherever possible. Yeah, and my, my playthrough here with Big Boss, uh, because I've gone undetected enough and I've been tagging lots of dudes, uh, there aren't just, like, one or two inflatable soldier decoys. Like, half the base is that now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's someone's birthday. They, <laughs> they went a little wild. And also... We, we developed Fultons that are capable of lifting up vehicles and stuff, but that also means we can finally lift these giant containers. Yes! It costs 10,000 GMP to airlift one. Kind of pricey, but it's, you know, 750 biological material, whatever that is. Uh, we know what it is. We know what it is. Yeah. 7,500 common metal, like, this is the big way to get a lot of resources. Uh, I mean, I expect all the biological material in this game to just be like, children's bones, do you get it? <laughs> Whoa. Uh, uh. Skullface is planning to make a Metal Gear out of the bones of children. <laughs> <laughs> and only Hank Hill can stop him. What, what was that, boys? What, 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 what I don't know. I, I haven't done <laughs> Skullface in so long that I, I, I just turned to Hank Hill. That song was too shy in that cassette tape. I'm not gonna let it play, cause fuck you, YouTube. That's right. The only way to avoid YouTube is to hush hush. <laughs> IUI. Hank Hill probably could stop Skullface though. I'm not, yeah. I don't think I'm wrong there. Yeah. Just give him a stern talking to. I mean, would Skullface be scared of Hank Hill automatically due to his his propane stuff? Because I mean, he was Skullface was burned alive. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he'd be he'd be terrified of that clean burn. <laughs> <laughs> the PMC ain't right. <laughs> I mean, so let's go ahead and guess all those tags that aren't moving are the decoys. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, pre previous episode, we had soldiers talking about a 100-year-old Native American nuclear scientist, so... Mm -hmm. That's just John Redcorn, I guess. That's just John Redcorn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, does, does Skullface have a wife who suffers from migraines? Is that how we're gonna get in? <laughs> so, yeah, even if you don't, like, fault in that dude who tells you where the prisoner is, it's pretty easy to figure out where he is, because uh, we were already in this map for a mission. This is the map with the Viscount. Oh, yeah. If you if you followed him to where, so that you could listen into all of his interrogations, he went to this exact spot to interrogate uh, the other prisoners. It's just the prisoner place. Yeah, it's where the prisoners go. Now, this guy's, like, underground a little, so... He's injured. And like cool you for a second, but it's like it's a big hole. You're not gonna miss it. Get him out by chopper. I don't know. A lot of seriously injured people have survived Fulton extraction. Yeah. Now, something I feel like is missing from this game 
uh, mm -hmm. is, you know, once you get to Africa, that's when they introduce the, the PFs. And there are three of them. And it 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 feels Roger. reminiscent of the PMCs from Metal Gear Solid 4, except there are no major characters related or connected to the PFs, really. And there's no freak show <laughs> bosses. Like, when I got here, it was like, oh, there's three PFs, and they're all, they all got these different names. I was just gonna, thinking, like, oh, okay, each one's gonna have a boss fight, right? No, they don't. They're just normal soldiers. Have some more skulls. Yeah, have Every once in a while, have some skulls. Yeah, have some more skulls. The, these skulls can make icicles happen. I don't know. Why not? Yeah, we. I mean, we have the Earthbender ones. Uh, we have... These skulls water. shoot lightning. Do it. Why not? Water bending ones? I mean, I guess it's water bending, but all they can do is make mist appear. Humidity bending. <laughs> that, that's as far as their powers go, really. You're gonna feel real sticky out there, boss, and, uh... <laughs> Well, let me tell you, you're gonna want to hit the showers when you come back to base. <laughs> it's really the only tactical issue is more inconvenience than anything. Your balls are gonna stick to your thighs, boss. Sorry, it's just how it goes. Amazing mission complete. That right there is why you're the best, boss. Thank you. The one and only. Miller is just screaming about how he loves it when his balls stick to his leg. <laughs> it's the phantom pain. <laughs> oh, he lost one of his balls too, I see. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. Refuses a prosthetic in, in <laughs> yeah. all cases. We have a specialist that just makes balls. Like, you can have three if you want, Miller. Come on. Real popular with Dee Dee, actually. Just yeah. can't get enough. <laughs> Poison buffalo. Because dogs like to chase balls, you they see. They do. They do. A brutal tree frog. <laughs> Doubt it. No. No. No, thank you. <laughs> Bullet armadillo. Grizzly iguana. <laughs> Grizzly iguana rancid is really good. Goat. No. Why is the goat rancid? No. It's, uh, he's had a hard life. <laughs> don't. Don't drink that milk. Do not make that cheese. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. 